Ciao, bonjour à tout le monde. Je suis enchantée d'être avec vous pour parler de l'importance de la voix à la radio. Sorry for my bad pronunciation. I'm here to talk about voice, the power of voice, the power of sound, uh, five elements to sound credible. But first, let me propose you something. Do you want to come with me on holiday? Sure, no. Voulez-vous venir en vacances avec moi? Oui, no. I can hear you. <laughs> yes. Okay, si, oui. <laughs> okay. So, I've heard that Belgian people usually go uh, to the French coast on vacation. So, do you want to go there? Maybe? I choose this small village. Do you want it to go? Do, do you like? We can go there. It's, it's really close to here. It's in the French coast. And uh, we will take our car, the cheaper option, OK? So making a tree is kind of like the same of choosing a voice for your project, for advertising or for news. Uh, it's kind of similar. It's the same process. First, we need the transportation. And the voice is the transportation. We need the car, of course, to go to this beautiful village. And this is like the instrument. This is like the voice as an instrument, the first part. And the second part, we need the, the itinerary. We need a route to get to there, right? Are you following me? OK. So, this is the intonation. This is the way to speak. So we have finally what and how. So uh, this is the two things that I'm going to uh, speak today. So first, we have to choose a voice. And in this case, we have two options. Well, in general, we have two options. First one. Let's go. resulting sound is produced because the exhaust pipe of this small car is really narrow and really short. Did you perceive it, the sound, in a little bit high tone or not? It's kind of like this pipe. It's short, so it produces a high tone. Hmm? Okay. So the tone of voice could be low, could be high. Okay. The tone of voice is one of the most important features for voice. And differentiates gender, female and male. So it's really characteristic, OK? So we have this option, this high tone. And we have this option. <laughs> so in this case, the let me pronounce well. The tuyau de chapeaumont is longer and is wider than before. So that produces a low tone. Can you perceive the difference? Easy. So it's the same with our uh, voices. Uh, the tone of voice depends on the wife and the length of your vocal cords. So we have two options here to decide what kind of voice we, uh, we need for our project. High-pitched voices, the voix aigu, and low-pitched voices, the voix grave. So what do you prefer? This is my question for you. So please take out your phone. And we are going uh, to listen to two kinds of voices. Both are in Spanish which is great for you because I want you to concentrate just on the sound and not on the content. So perfect for you. And uh, they are saying exactly the same. So are you ready? Yes? Let's go. El jefe del ejército de Haití, el general Raúl Masueco, ha presentado esta mañana su dimisión y ha anunciado que abandonará el país para evitar situaciones de mayor violencia. 
El jefe del ejército de Haití, el general Raúl Masueco, ha presentado esta mañana su dimisión y ha anunciado que abandonará el país para evitar situaciones de mayor violencia. Ok, time to vote. Opción 1, opción 2. Can we see this on the screen, please? Mm -hmm. Here you go. That's about it. Yeah. It's okay. What would you choose? 60% for option two. Mm. And this is the same result always all over the world for young people, old people, Always the same. We conducted a lot of research, a lot of studies about that, and uh, we obtained always the same result. Let me uh, go to my presentation now. And you can see uh, a survey here. This is the preference, low pitch uh, and high pitch for male voices and female voices. You can perceive uh, some kind of difference between uh, male and female voices. I don't have time to, to talk about the perception of male and female voices, but you are, if you are uh, interested in this aspect, just send me an email and we can talk about that. Okay, so this is uh, the preference, uh, the conscience preference, okay? But in my lab in Barcelona, uh, what we do is to measure the physiological response of our participants. That means that we measure different uh, reactions to the sound messages uh, or voice messages, radio and so on. So uh, what we uh, do there uh, is to measure the rhythm cardiac, uh, the heart rate to index attention. For your heart rate, I can know if you are paying attention or not to the message. So this is uh, important. In this case, our heart rate <laughs> It's accelerating now, uh, just for uh, this. We measure also the skin conductant response, the electricity under your skin with these sensors, electrodes, uh, just to, say, to, to know if you are engaged or boring. So the level of activation of your body with its electrodes here in the finger, okay? And uh, the emotion. Uh, putting the electrodes, attaching the electrodes here, for example, in this muscle here. If I have a negative emotion, it's clear here that I detect uh, the movement. Or here, if it's a positive emotion. While I'm listening to the ad, or while I'm listening to the news, or whatever, you are testing, okay? So we do that, also I, an eye tracker, sometimes. And we obtain these results for uh, this kind of uh, voices, exactly the same result as before, which is not, so, not always the same. Here we have a coincidence uh, between the survey, the perception of when I ask you, and the body response. But sometimes I think something consciously, but my body responds in another way. So it's, it's not always a coincidence. In this case, it's really clear. My body says the same. So my first advice is if you have to choose a narrator, a voiceover artist uh, for your ad or for news, low pitched voices are the preference, always, okay? But we also wanted to know what happened in terms of voice quality. What voice quality is? Another future of voice. So I'm talking now in this tone, and I'm talking now in this tone, but it, the tone is the same, but the voice is completely different. Yeah? It's just a change in the quality of voice. So we uh, tested, in this case, rough vo voices and clear voices. And you can see here that it's really easy to see that we prefer clear voices, clear voices, and not this, because it sounds pathological. Okay. This is an example of rough voice. El jefe del ejército de Haití, el general Raúl Masueco, ha presentado esta mañana su dimisión y ha anunciado que abandonará el país para evitar situaciones de mayor violencia. Uh, can you perceive this sound in this voice? People don't like that. So, first recommendation is, uh, and in the screen contact and response is the same, okay? Obtain the same result. First recommendation, low pitch voices, but clear and resonant. So, 
Yeah, low pitched, but not everything. Clear and resonant voices for uh, narrators. Okay, so once we have the voice, now we have to get to our beautiful village, or not? We have to get to there. So we have to choose an itinerary. We have to choose the road map, the route to get to there. So this is the uh, selecting a good way to speak. And we are going to talk about intonation and about speech rate. So the route and the speed to go to there. First, intonation. Intonation is the melody of the speech. It's the sum of tones that I use when I'm talking. And it's really, really, really terribly important. I think that is the most important thing when I'm talking. Because um, for at attention, it's important for first, sorry, intonation. It's important for paying attention to the message, for paying attention to the message, second, for understanding the message, and third, for feeling the message. For feeling the message. This is really important. So intonation is really important for all of these things. And you did it before reading these sentences. So it was kind of changes of intonation. We can decide to go to our this small village just in this road. like a monotonous intonation. So this was our first model to test, the monotonous intonation, a low pitch. Uh, pitch is the same as tone of voice. So low pitch, very monotonous. You can see there, this blue line is the curve of intonation. And it's really low level, it's 87 uh, hertz low. And what, what we did was to test this model um, controlling the physiological response of our participants. So above you have heart rate, the rhythm cardiac, and below uh, the activation. Remember, heart rate is indexing attention, and uh, below skin conductance is indexing activation. Okay? He was driven to the brink of madness by his unfaithful fiance. When an attempt at taking his own life failed, he decided that his cheating sweetheart and her new lover would have to die. Carrying a pistol and disguised as a chambermaid, he set out for the couple's Parisian love nest. Fortunately, he got on the wrong coach, lost the veil that made the disguise somewhat convincing, and decided to compose operas instead. Louis Nelson. Hear his music performed live by the Terry Benjamin Symphony Orchestra. Join us May the 1st. We can see in real time what is happening uh, in the bodies of our participants while uh, they are listening to messages. So, what do you think? This is not a good result. First, because uh, in terms of heart rate, I'm looking for peaks and valleys. Peaks and valleys, that means that I'm regaining the attention through road the ad. But if not, I'm just <laughs> sleeping, okay? And you can see this decreasing line, okay? And in terms of a skin conductance, the level is not too high. So it's not good. It's not a good idea to use this marble. Uh, I, I found uh, ads with this marble. It's, it's not an invent, invented. Uh, <laughs> I'm not inventing everything. Uh, nothing, sorry. So um, we can choose this other option. Let's see. Okay, so this is the second model that we use. You can see the mountains in this model. This is the curve of intonation. It's 164 hertz, meaning that it's a high pitch, it's a high tone. It's the same song, 
is the sing song, okay, and is the most common way, uh, the most common um, way to speak in all the apps all over the world, regardless, I can say again, regardless the language, which is a nonsense because intonation is prosody and is absolutely linked to the language. But I can find this model all over the world, even here. Et voilà qu'une photo fait le tour du monde depuis lors. C'est Donald Trump qui regarde cette euh, éclipse, sauf qu'il a oublié de se protéger les yeux. And you can see the result. It's a sing song, okay, all over the world, in Spanish, in English, in Polish, in French, in Dutch. Okay, let's see what happened with the result. We assembled a bunch of mountain bikes, stocked our shelves with a bunch of mountain bike parts, hung up all kinds of cool mountain bike posters, and opened our big new store full of mountain bikes in Miami called Bikes Canada. Get a good mountain bike for a little money, then ride around town if you can handle people pointing and giggling. We have helmets, goggles, and gloves. Bikes Canada. We don't know much, but we do know bikes. And of course, we have a better result than before, but still it's not good. It's not good, especially because of the skin conductance is a little bit higher than before, but not too much. And the heart rate uh, is always decreasing, almost a straight line. It's not a good way to speak. But all over the world, most of the apps are uh, doing that. So be careful. So what we did is uh, to elaborate another model. And in this model, we have changes, we have variations. And in this case, you can see that the first part of the sentence is in a high pitch, 151, and the second part of the sentence is in a low pitch. Once every spring in the village of Florenta, Italy, Antonio cooks his famous family feast. Can you perceive it, the difference? So the idea is, I have to start attracting your attention in a high pitch, and then deliver the more important information at the end of the sentence in a low pitch. Okay, variation. And we can see the result. Once every spring in the village of Florenta, Italy, Antonio cooks his famous family feast. He prepares the finest ingredients for hours until it's perfect. And when the family gathers and Antonio brings his masterpiece to the table, everyone agrees it's the worst thing they ever tasted. Thank goodness, there's Topolino pizza. Two pizzas, two, two sides pizza. of spaghetti, two soft drinks, just $9.99. Topolino pizza. Can you see the peak of two pizzas at the end? So we are regaining the attention to roll the ads. And this is the most important thing. And in terms of skin conductance, you can see that the level is the highest one, almost six. So people here are paying attention and or it's uh, really engaged with the message. So this is important in terms of attention and uh, also recall. But let me show you first, this is the result of the three models. You can see that uh, the red line is the variation, high, low pitch, and obtain the best result. Uh, you can see the peaks and the valleys uh, in the red line, and it's the lowest one, because when I'm paying attention to a message, my heart rate decreases, yeah, because I'm paying attention. So uh, we are looking for the lowest level in heart rate, so perfect, then uh, high and then low. Uh, and in terms of skin conductance, this is really clear that the highest one is uh, with variation. What is the most important thing is recall. After that, we tested uh, what people remember because if people remember anything about, uh, after our messages, it's like we are doing uh, nothing. <laughs> so you can see here the result. Variations, high pitch and low pitch. People remember better when you are trying to uh, produce this kind of variation through uh, the app. Okay, second part of, uh, so, Low pitch voices, clear resonance, and fair advice, monotony, the worst, the worst. People are sleeping. This is the worst thing, the worst option that you can choose. And variation is the best. But variation 
in a natural way. Not singing a song. It's variation in a natural way, like I'm doing now. In advertising, please, don't sell. Just sell. Important. So, last part. Beat. Let's go to our village now. Do you want to go in this car? Maybe. Okay, so in this case, we tested three different speech rates. 160 words per minute, 180 words per minute, and 200. So this is my second question for you. What do you prefer? So we are listening, uh, we are going to listen to three fragments with, uh, of different ads, and you have to choose an option. Ready? Go. Call Luca at 349-569-8232. Thousands of Star Wars collectibles available at competitive prices. Millennium. Paid for by Friends of the Sunshine Conservation District. Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, it's clear, I think. What's that? That is clear. Yeah. The Second option. That's what I would have chosen. 180. I, I'm wondering why I... I do this experiment all over the world, and with participants, without, in conferences, and the result is always the same. But when I tune on the radio, this is not the result. So, okay. So this is the result for skin conductance, 180, of course, like you, uh, then 200, and then uh, 160. Hmm? And in terms of recall, what people remember, the same, 180, 200, and 160. Let me, let me explain how a speech rate adds. Well, the optimal recognition of information, the optimal recall, is between 190 and 160. Let me, the first. Uh, 170, 190. Here, in this place, we have the moderate dynamic effect. What does it mean? So you have to be sufficiently the dynamic to attract attention, but moderate enough to facilitate understanding. So this is the rhythm that you have to choose. Below this uh, level, we have problems. We have problems with attention because it's too slow, and I'm boring, and I'm sleeping. So the level of recognition, the level of recall is, is low. But more than 190, we have a problem because I cannot follow you. So we produce a cognitive overload. I cannot follow you. So the level of recognition uh, is uh, also really low. So here you can see the most of the ads, ads, majority of ads, are in this place with this level of recognition. It's really, really, really low the level of recall. Why? Because we elaborate in general, uh, in Spain, in uh, France, in all over the world, at with a really complex message, with a lot of information delivered at a fast rate. And that, the, the result is that. It's just this point. So we have to slow down a little bit the ads uh, to get a, bit, a best result or the best result. So, low pitched voices, clear, resonant, monotony is the word, 180 words per minute, and variation. Variation is really important. In terms of intonation, we have to vary the curve of intonation, but also in terms of speech rate. Nobody speaks at the same rate. That's why I know that Alexa is not human. <laughs> okay, so be careful with that. Uh, well. Uh, I hope you enjoy your stay in this uh, small uh, village. Profite bien de vos vacances dans ce petit village. Just a dernier pensée. Yes. Voice matters. Yes. Voice matters. Voice matters. Yes. Voice matters. Ja, de stem en de radio zijn heel belangrijk. Si, la voz importa. Stimme is wichtig. Oui, la voix compte. Thanks for your attention.
Thank you very much. Merci. Ladies and gentlemen, Emma Rodero. Merci. Au revoir.